So, it's 2014. Did everybody have a nice Christmas and New Year's? Well, good. I hope you did, because I bloody well didn't. Without going into too much detail, between uh, having shitty broadband, uh, getting called into work just about every other bloody day, and getting sick, I have to say I've not had the best time of it. But that's all over, it's past, we're in a new year now, I'm feeling a lot better and I should be able to start uploading videos again, which is just fantastic. So um, what have we got here today? Well, quite obviously, as you can see on the screen here, we've got Stonehearth. This is the very first alpha of Stonehearth, the game's not you know, widely available yet. Uh, you can get it through the Humble Bundle page, or through their Humble Bundle page, uh, and activate it on Steam, which I've done. Now what is Stonehearth? So, not to be confused, of course, with Hearthstone, the uh, new World of Warcraft based trading card, collectible card, whatever game from Blizzard. Stonehearth is something entirely different. It's a town builder, god sim type indie game. Uh, that I have been looking forward to for a very, very long time. I did see this real early um, in its development, uh, even earlier in development than it is now, to be honest, and I've been following it since then, and a couple of days ago, the very first alpha version finally became available for public release. And um, while I'm not going to be doing a full series or anything on it just yet, uh, for reasons that become quite obvious pretty soon, I wanted to do a little uh, first look video, just to sort of give you all a taste of what the game's about, uh, but I will most definitely be coming back to this later on. So let's start a new game, and uh, you can see uh, what it's all about. It's all based around a you know procedurally generated world um, with like randomised people and uh, other things in it, which is always good because it adds a ton of replayability to the game. The biggest problem right now probably is uh, that there's no save. This is why I won't be doing a uh, let's play on it just yet because there's no point if I'm gonna have to restart the world every time. But. Uh, other than that, there's also not a lot in it right now, but we'll see that in a minute. Okay, so uh, the Founder's Manual. First we're going to do is pick a spot um, where we can find um, some wood and some berries mostly. They're the important things. As you can see, we've got grasslands and some, some mountain range up there. Well, that's a big one in this map. Uh, we've got lots of nice open space. Oh, some dirt lands over there, which are probably going to be quite good for farmlands, uh, not that we can farm just at the moment. What's in there? Oh, some flowers. Look at them. Sweet. Okay, so what have we got? Uh, we want a nice spot with some berry bushes. There's a few there. There's like eight there. And a few, uh, 12 overall there. There's a few there. This is looking a good spot. Over here is also looking a good spot. In fact, I like this spot. It's um, got some nice open ground. It, it looks out over the rest of it. I think we're going to start here. So the first thing we do uh, is to roll it out a little bit actually is you need to put down your banner. This obviously defines where your base camp is. Uh, so we're going to do that and we're going to stick it right there. And doing that also gives us a campfire and uh, our first group of settlers. Hello people! Um, some of them have got wood already. Who we got here? Oh, I need to start a stockpile before it let me do anything else as well. That's a good point. Uh, so click here and we'll just drag out a little stockpile like that. Okay, now they uh, do it. Okay, oh, got it. There it says I'm free to do what I want. So who we got here? Um, Campton Nonak. Okay, Captain Nonak and uh, Noel Nonak. When it Captain Nonak and Noel, uh, they're well considering one of them's black and one of them's white. I'm guessing they're not blood relations. Um, I, I think I'm going to say that they're a couple. They look like they're probably a couple. Uh, 
Of course, we're totally non judgmental around here, so that's absolutely fine. Campton and Noel Nonak are a uh, married couple. Vio Freewind. Hello, Vio Freewind. And uh, Campton Boltus. Well, you've got the same name as the other guy. So who else have we got here? Irving Beryl. And who just lit the fire for us? Was that Campton? Yes, that was Campton. And who was this person? Via Freywind. Oh, you. Abby Nonak. Okay, uh, so Abby Nonak would be um, Campton and Noel Nonak's uh, adopted daughter. Yeah, well, she wouldn't be a natural daughter, would she? So we've got the Nonak family here. And um, just some random friends. Not that, that actually matters at the moment. I just like making up little backstories for uh, the, for them. You're going to hungry and it's dark and you're going to want to sleep soon. So what we're going to do, first of all, we're going to need some food for them. So we click on that and we don't want to cut down these bushes, but we do want to gather from them. So we want to gather some berries from the berry bushes. So I set them tasks to do that. There we go. Now they should gather the berries off of that, and they'll eat them straight away, of course, because they're all starving, literally. Um, yep, yeah, are you... Yeah, look, they've all got little plates of berries. They're all sitting down. Uh, on the ground, of course, sitting on the ground, having a nice eat, because we, we don't have anything else for them at the moment. There's no chairs or tables or anything. Um, and after that, they'll probably go to sleep, again, on the ground, because we, we haven't got them a bed either. Um... But the rest of these berries, because there is more than they need to eat right now, they'll take back and stick in the stockpile over there. Next, we're going to want them to chop some trees. Now they fill their bellies, we want them to chop some trees. So we'll do that. Uh, how about that one and that one. Three trees should be plenty for now. They actually get a lot of wood from these trees. These bigger ones, anyway. And these are only medium trees. I mean, I don't know what the game classes is large. I, I have, don't think large trees are in it yet. Um, not a lot is in it yet. We, we've we've discussed this, but yeah, there's there's not a lot so in the game so far. But of course, they're sticking all the stuff in the uh, stockpile where it belongs, and we've got wood here now, so we can click the hammer, which is our building uh, tab. Currently, we can build things on structures. Structures. There's only wall loops, which is literally just bits of wall you can make. Simple rooms, which are like a one-room house, uh, which aren't really working very well. Um, at the moment, the, there's something, a pathing bug or some sort of AI bug that's preventing people from putting the roof on. Um, and so the building never gets finished. Uh, well, I'll set one of those to, to go anyway, just to show you. But what we really want is build, and we want to build a workshop. Now, the only workshop we have available in this current version is the Carpenter. Um, so, we'll stick down a call for the for the Carpenter, say here. Okay, now somebody will come and um, do that. We also need to make a crafter stockpile, just somewhere for, oh, for the finished goods to go. That will do, it doesn't matter. We're not going to have a whole lot of finished goods, to be honest. There we go, and there is our carpenter. Now we click on that, and we can't craft anything. We need to make somebody a carpenter. So we get to promote somebody. Who are we going to promote? Who's going to be our carpenter? Is it going to be Irving Beryl? Um, maybe one of the Nonax? Uh, no, they're busy. We're going to make Irving Beryl our carpenter, I think. Irving, you're getting a promotion. Choose a citizen. Irvin Beryl. You. Boom. Are now the carpenter. Yay. Carpenter is, say, the only profession currently in the game. Here we go. Ta-da! And he gets a nice little carpenter's outfit to say he's the carpenter. Okay. Now we have a carpenter. And we've got a good stock of wood here. We really do, actually. Uh, oh. Irving's, Irving's just having a little sleep on the ground next to his carpentry bench. Everyone else is standing there staring out at nothing much. Um, however, he's going to have to wake up and make something for us. Okay, 
so we click on here uh, onto Irvin's crafting uh, inventory thing and it shows what we can make for us. You can make a sword and a shield um, but we don't need them at the moment. I haven't seen enemies in this yet at all so that's fine. What we really want is a couple of dining tables because uh, so people can all sit around and eat uh, so we'll sit in to do that and um, some chairs uh, we could do cathedral, simple wooden chairs or cathedral chairs. Cathedral chairs uh, have exactly the same effect as the simple chairs. They just look better and cost more resources. But we can go for some simple wooden chairs. And we've got six people. So we're going to go for six chairs. Craft those. And then after that, we're going to set him on the task of making mean beds. Not, not nasty beds. Look, mean as in poor, not cruel. Though it's that too. Um, just some crappy wooden frame beds with straw mattresses. Uh, we're going to be really generous and do enough of those for everybody. Okay, so that's fine. That's He's working on that. Now, we can uh, place items around the place. We're going to stick these. Stick this over here because he's got to wait. I made the crafter's stockpile way too small, of course, as, we, as I did say. Uh, so he's got to wait until it's clear before he can do anything. Uh, I'm going to place that. I'm going to place that right next to that one. Oh. There. Hopefully. Wait. Irving. See, Irving. Irving, can you please put the table down? I think I may have broken, broken the game. Uh... Which is not difficult at this point, admittedly. It's really not. Irving, can you... Um... Yes, you're holding a dining table. Can you please... Place these. Uh... Uh... Yeah, Irving. Okay, I, I think I definitely have broken, broken it. Irving, can you please put that down somewhere? Anywhere's fine. Look, there. Put it there. Irving. He's starving, but he won't eat the food and he won't do anything with the bloody table. Uh, crap. We're in trouble now. Okay, so what ideally uh, should be happening is Irving should be, is, should be placing, should be placing the, uh, that somewhere. Yeah, um, great. Well, what I can show you is we can at least get a simple room going. Uh, let's just stay here then. Now, everybody else, if the game doesn't crash. Okay, so uh, yeah, it crashed. Um, I've started a new world, uh, and as you can see, it's completely different from the old one. I mean, completely. Uh, it's even got different types of trees in it. It's got these really tall trees. Juniper trees, which I didn't see before. I unfortunately neglected to place my thing next to where we got berries. Um, so they're, they're all getting hungry uh, already. All of our new people. They're all different people. Uh, Alina Borb. Uh, Scarlet Hunterton. Uh, Sean Freywind. Uh, obviously related to the other Freywind, who's uh, now... Lost in the ether somewhere. We'll add burly hands. Well, I think we know uh, who's going to be uh, Elena Hunterton. Um, oh, Leah Beryl. Okay. Well, I think we know who's going to be uh, our, um, our carpenter. See, we have got Scarlet Hunterton and Elena Hunterton. Um, they're sisters. Uh, sisters and um, hopefully they'll prove useful. Sean Freywind, yeah, William uh, Burley Hands, that was everybody, but Willard Burley Hands has got to be, um, has got to be the carpenter. Willard Burley Hands, that's it. Go for it, dude. Yay! Okay, so this time also, I didn't mess up that so badly, so I can at least right, get him to build some of the structures. Okay, so what do we want? We wanted 
let's do this a bit easier for right now. Right, dining table. Just the one for now, okay? And then some chairs. Some simple wooden chairs. We'll just say two for now, alright? That's fine. Uh, then a couple of beds. Um, great. That's it. Now you do that. And you can see he's getting the wood. Mr. Burley hands. It's such quite a lot of wood for these tables. Uh, everybody else, cut some more trees. That's it. Cut trees, cut trees, cut trees. And I can tell you about a few things which we're expecting to have in the game uh, later on. Obviously, we're going to get more uh, classes, more like professions um, as time goes on, which is which is good, of course. Um, multiplayer is going to be here. Yeah, multiplayer. There's been monsters. Uh, you'll be able to cut stone and dig the earth and things like that. Can somebody uh, place the table? Thank you. Um, I'm going to turn these around. Stick that there. There we go. Uh, we'll be yeah, we'll play multiplayer, which is one of the big things uh, I've been looking forward to because I love these type of games, but you can rarely play multiplayer in them, and this one is going to have it from the outset. How it's going to work exactly, we don't know, but yeah, that's looking brilliant. There's going to be uh, say lots of monsters and caves to explore and a whole lot of other stuff. I mean, you can already see the, the graphics engine is is mostly done, although not entirely. And it's a really quite unique, quite cool looking game. Uh, very obviously voxel styled. Um, the music, as you can hear, is beautiful uh, in this game. Absolutely fantastic. Right, we're going to put the beds near the fire. Uh, okay. Now he's going back for some more wood, and they're still bringing in plenty of wood in. We've got plenty of that, that's not a problem. Uh, the light of the fire um, to work by. But yeah, I mean, they're going to be the main features of the game. A whole lot of the stuff which, you know, they haven't said everything that's going in the game because it's going to be a lot, as far as I can tell. Um, and this game isn't actually even officially going to be released for uh, the best part of another year yet. It's not until September it's due for, for release, so. Got a long way to go, but what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be ending this video in just a minute. Um, oh, we've got the other bed ready. Yeah, okay, guy. Uh, yeah, there. There's the other bed. Um, yeah, I'm going to end this video in just a moment. Uh, but what I will be doing, as soon as this is updated with a save file in it, uh, and maybe a few more things that you can do in the game, uh, which should all come hopefully in the next update. They haven't said exactly, but uh, the good people at Radiant, they aren't a big team and they are working on it quite a lot. They, they're working on it all over Christmas to get this release ready. Um, because, you know, it's a, it's a complicated game and there's a lot to do with it. But so, as soon as there's a few more things in it and a few and a save a file and everything like that available, um, I will start Let's Play on this, and as soon as the multiplayer is in, I'm going to play it multiplayer with some friends. Uh, we'll all start a world, hopefully we'll be able to start a persistent world, we'll be able to join and create our own towns, our own little communities, maybe, you know, fight each other, we don't, we don't know yet because we don't know how it's going to be, uh, but it's very much a wait and see. But there we go. Anyway, we've got a table and chairs for these people to sit and have some food, we've got a ton of wood stocked up. Um, we've got uh, good old we'll add burly hands there he's uh, just just watching the fire he's, he's not doing anything he's kind of hungry he's staring at the flames and he, he's wondering if he can eat fire but no Willard you, you can't eat fire I know you're hungry and I know it's my fault that the nearest berry bushes are over there somewhere look there we go that's a long ways away I know um, but it doesn't matter because this world won't be saved so you're gonna just vanish off back into the pixel ether uh, and maybe be reincarnated one day in uh, a more permanent game. Um, hopefully, though, to be honest, hopefully, we'll be able to change people's names. And, oh, look. Oh, it's it's daytime. Oh, there's quite a lot of variety in the character models, isn't there? That's pretty cool. I really do like... Say, so, I'm already loving this game. Um, and I hope you enjoy this video uh, and hopefully you'll want to come back and, and watch more as I do more of it. So uh, yeah, thanks everybody and uh, until next time, goodbye.